This lesson shows you how to draw a stem and leaf plot. In a stem and leaf plot, all but the last digit of each number is the stem, shown in this column. The last digit of each number is a leaf, shown in these rows. For example, the number 35 is shown in the plot with a stem equal to 3 and a leaf equal to 5. Starting from the beginning, the numbers in this plot are 11, 22, 23, 23, 24, and so on. A stem and leaf plot is a way of organizing data in a form that makes it easy to see the frequency of the different types of data. It shows how the data is spread out. That is, the lowest number, the highest number, the most common number, the mode of the data, and possible outliers. You can see there are 13 numbers in the data set, and the median is 5. Here's how to draw a stem and leaf plot step by step. A teacher asks her students how many books they have read in the past 12 months. Here are the answers. The first step is to identify the lowest number, 6, and the highest number, 25. The next step is to identify the stems. Numbers like 6 and 7 have a zero stem. Numbers like 10, 12, 15, and 19 have a stem equal to 1. Numbers like 21, 23, and 25 have a stem equal to 2. Next, draw a vertical line and list the stems. Then list the leaves. Finally, include a key to show the relationship between a number and its stem and leaf. To interpret the data, 10 students answered the teacher's question. The median of the data is 13.5. So half the students read more than 13 books in 12 months. Half read fewer than 13. The smallest number is 6 books. The largest number is 25 books in 12 months. The range is a large number, 21. This lesson showed you how to draw a stem and leaf plot. And this lesson was brought to you by the Math Fun Academy, its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new math and new equations, to boldly go where no math student has gone before.